Vadim Dovgorug lost an arm fighting for the city of Dubalceva in East Ukraine earlier this year and then waited for help whilst under enemy fire. In the end, doctors had to amputate his legs, but still he stayed in the service studying to be a psychologist. He hopes his own experience will act as inspiration for fellow soldiers. In Ukraine's port city of Odessa, he was one of several honoured as a hero of the Ukrainian people. I would like to say thank you to all the volunteer medics for everything that they do, not only on the front line, but also for the work they do, supporting people in hospital. Behind every award, a story of heroism, courage and endurance. Among those honoured was Mustafa Jamilev, the leader of the Crimean Tatars, who was exiled from the Crimean Peninsula after it was annexed by Russia last year. He has never received any awards from the Ukrainian government, but says that being honoured as a hero of the Ukrainian people carries pride of place. It's special because I joined the ranks of those who have given their lives in the name of freedom for their country. Many here are being posthumously recognised. It's a great honour. Indeed, four posthumous awards were handed out. They were collected by the mothers and wives of sons and husbands who lost their lives fighting in East Ukraine, where an 18-month conflict with Russian-backed militants continues. Central to that struggle has been the work of volunteers. These prizes are no exception. We were hoping that the government would bring in new awards in the summer of 2014, but in fact there won't be any new awards before the end of 2016. The fighters get the same awards as the generals, but the generals have never held weapons in their hands, so we decided to make these awards ourselves. Nearly 150 people have so far been designated as heroes of the Ukrainian people out of some 6,000 nominees. Ultimately, who wins the prize depends on the votes of the public. In fact, the very metal used to make the awards was donated by Ukrainians and collected by volunteers.